all the tools that I own that deal with machine tooling, this group of tools is probably the most important. Mechanical Engineer's Handbook and Modern Shop Practice. Now by modern we talk about modern as being uh, up to date. These are from the early 20th century and a lot of the ideas actually sprung up in the late 19th century. So I'm going to dip into those books over the next few months and we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that they do. Well we've talked about hammers, now let's talk about cutting tools. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This episode is about cold chisels. The word cold chisel brings up this in most people's mind. But a cold chisel is just a chisel that you use on cold stock. Uh, you can use a chisel on wood, you can use a chisel on stone, you can use a chisel on metal. We're going to focus on metal this time. I'm right-handed, so I stand on the right-hand side of the vise. You can also lock the material in the vise this way and drive this direction. Or if you're left-handed, you can flip it around and work it this way. That's all up to you. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock the material in the vise this direction. Because when I use a chisel, I stand to this side, like this, and I tap it. I don't have to beat on it because the chisel should be sharp enough to cut. The first chisel we're going to use is called a diamond point. The diamond point, as you can see, a diamond point is ground diagonally. You take a square point chisel and grind a diagonal on it so that the end of the chisel has a diamond shaped point. What that does, it allows you to cut V grooves. The way it works is I put the chisel, point it down onto the material, and then I raise up the back and allow it to drive into the material as I'm cutting. And once I've started making the, once I've started making the cut, I can drop the back edge of the chisel, otherwise I'll keep trying to plunge into the steel and it gets harder and harder to drive. I'm not driving that hard on the chisel and I'm making a pretty good chip. That little bit of tapping and I raised up a chip about the size of a horseshoe nail. I've cut quite a groove in the material too. That's a diamond point chisel. This is called a cape chisel. This cape chisel is also cut at an angle, but it doesn't form a diamond shape because the end of it is square and the bottom part is rounded off. That rounding allows me to cut a round bottom groove. With the rounded edge of the cape chisel, I can dig in very similar to what the diamond point chisel did.
difference is in the cut that the chisel makes. The cape chisel with its rounded bottom makes a round bottom groove. The diamond point chisel with its V-shaped face cuts a V-shaped cut. The cape chisel with a rounded bottom was used to make oil grooves and shafts. This chisel only has a single bevel and it's sharpened more like a wood cutting chisel and it's used for scraping off material. Typically what would happen is if I needed to lower a section of this surface I would take the diamond point and I would cut a groove on either side. About the width of the point of my single bevel chisel. Now there's another kind of cape chisel that has a square bottom. Both of these cape chisels were used for making oil grooves. But I'll just use this uh, diamond tool to cut grooves on both sides. Then I would take the bevel, single bevel chisel and start my cut. Working my way across using the grooves as the stopping point for my chisel. Once I've established the cut, then I take my file and smooth out the bottom of my cut. You can also square up the sides. Deeper the edges. And end up with a nicely cut notch in your part. Now this is a railroad spike. Railroad spikes are considered to be uh, kind of tough. They're not as hard as tool steel. Uh, people make knives out of them, but they make really poor knives. And this isn't even an HC. 
this is just a standard old railroad spike. But you can see that the chisel cuts a pretty good groove in it without too much trouble. If this was mild steel, which I don't happen to have a piece of sitting around right now, if this was mild steel, it would cut even easier. You don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment to cut a groove in a piece of steel or to cut a tag. I could have used the power saws or the milling machine or drill press or a grinder or any kinds of thing that I had, but a chisel in a file, an appropriately sized hammer, one pound or a 12 ounce, either one worked just fine. Some of you guys ask about chisels. Well, I gave you chisels. I don't know if that's the ones you were talking about, but that's the chisels I gave you. If any of you have any other suggestions for a video or questions about this video or any of the others that I've done, just drop a note in the comments below. I read them all, you know. Thanks for watching.